and I came across this building which had disappeared and all the Thames were still sitting as if the building was still there. And they were claimable. Well, good news. It looks like the server is just fine. Yay! I'm not I'm not sure what was wrong, but I contacted eventually after some testing and things like that. I contacted the server admin and he he did a restart for us and uh, then I was able to build and place my thing, so I built a giant it's nighttime, I know. I I'm sorry. Let's just do a gamma up a little bit. It's nighttime, so I built a large enclosure for the taming, etc. And I filled in my wall, built another gate. We're, we're, we're doing okay out here. So a uh, small base for stuff that's going to be expanded a little bit. We've got an area in here for breeding larger things. And we've got enough room out here to sort of keep the... <laughs> I love those plants keep the riffraff out. Uh, I may go higher on those walls. Once I get some valuable rexes and stuff in here, I'll probably double up the height on those walls just to be on the safe side. And uh, it's been a while since I've been here. I've been uh, on to other things. I've been also wrestling with editors again. I've finally settled on a new solution. Uh, hope that this is going to help. Right. Okay, so they've changed the entire kibble system. This really changes everything as far as moving forward for me is. Instead of having basically one kibble for one or two dinosaurs, like one type of egg, we'll say, makes a certain kind of kibble, um, the old way, now it becomes, there's five or six groups of kibble uh, in which obviously are a bunch of dinos uh, that can make the kibble and a bunch of dinos that want the kibble. So theoretically for groups of 10 dinos you really only need one kibble dino. For example, let's uh, look at the exceptional kibble. The eggs, or per, pardon me, the things you tame with exceptional kibble, let's start there, is the Basilosaurus, the water whale, uh, Brontosaurus takes the exceptional kibble. Giganotosaurus, the big gigas, same thing as the Bronto. Uh, the Carcanos from Aberration. The Mosasaur, now you can tame with the eggs. Anybody that can make exceptional kibble, you can make tame a Mosasaur, kibble tame it. Quetzal, Rex, ding, 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 ding. That's what we're going to do, right? Uh, Spino and Therizinosaurus. I want a Therizinosaurus for around the farm to do some work, but I need that exceptional kibble now. How am I going to get it? Well, they only come from the eggs of six dinosaurs. Basilisks, which are from Aberration, Brontosaurus, Giganauts, Quetzals, sound familiar, Rex and Theres. Basically, the creature you want, you've got to have the egg. For example, I want a Giga. The Giga will eat Giga egg kibble. So whatever that means. <laughs> but that also means I only need, for example, a bunch of female Brontos to tame all those things. Moza, Gigas, um, Rexes, Quetzals, all that. That's all I need is the, the Gigas. And for a lot of the other lower level kibbles, I already got the dinos. So, um, well, what do you do now? Um, I guess the next step is I'm going to need a, an egg collector. That way I only need a couple of Brontos. That'll take care of that thing. And uh, I can probably get rid of these Diplos. I won't need them. Hey, buddy. Love you guys, though. Love you long time. That's right. Uh, yeah. Do I, I don't even think I need scorpions anymore. So a bunch of the stuff can be cleaned up, taken out. The only dinos I'm going to really need are the action dinos, you know, the things that do things for me, kind of in this corner. And of course, the birds. I love my birds. 
Uh, Trike, you're good. I love you. Parasaurs actually are great carrying mounts. Uh, the poop machine, yep, but you guys probably go. Uh, Ankies, we actually, it's pretty much only the, <laughs> the Diplos and the Scarfos are going. Everybody else is fun, right, buddy? Oh, you're wandering. Isn't that nice? Betty. We've got to get one of our, our outfits on her. Oh, hey. So, uh, what time have we got here? Uh, 4.19 in the a.m.? Um, I'm going to have to go on a massive mining spree, and basically that's, that's, that's what's got to happen now. Because I need to build, what do you call it? A, grind, uh, a grinder? Gosh, it's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, how do I get to my crafting menu? <laughs> how do I build things? Oh, at a table. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, the grinder is going to be in Structures Plus. So let's have a look here. And grinder. That's what I need. Industrial grinder, S plus. That's 800 cementing paste, 2,000 crystal, 3,200 metal ingots, 600 oil. I've really been struggling with oil lately. And uh, 600 polymer. So I think most of that is pretty easy to get. Certainly the crystal, the metal, and the polymer are going to be pretty easy for me to get. But cementing paste and oil, oh god. So we're going to start the grind. That's for. That's right. Yes, we are. Here. I can't remember how to play this game. Oh, oh, and where are we at now as far as all that stuff is concerned? Just to give you a little perspective. Metal is at... Uh, oh, I would keep it over here, wouldn't I? I think. Yes. So I've got 4, 10, 11 times 2, 2,200. I need 30. What did I say I needed? 3,600? For the grinder, I got 22... Oh, you have to look here. No, wait a minute. No, I've. Oh, because I'm not in the right table. Good lord. Spot the new guy. All right. Crafting grinder. 2200 versus 3200. So I don't actually need that much metal. What I need more is crystal. Uh, crystal, if memory serves, would be right up here. Ah, actually. Oh. I might have the crystal. And I got lots of obsidian. I could start turning that into polymer. I turn it. Oh, I'm out of gas. Ah, of course. Oh, that means the fridges are dead. Oh, no. I did not notice. Did not notice. But once we get this uh, enough money for the. or enough resources. For the grinder, then we can uh, look at all the other magical things, like the guy who takes care of your plants and the girl who harvests your crops and 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 then then Annie because we're going to be doing heavy breeding. We need all that stuff. Oh. Am I crouched or something? Why can I jump on my? Hello? Do you not have a saddle? Am I crouched? No. You and you, let's go. Oh, we won't fit through there, though. Okay, guys. Single file, please. Are they coming? I got two. Good job. This next, and I think we'll head up to the volcano. And I'll bring you back if anything interesting happens. And so, not only did I go out farming metal and crystal, etc., but I also had to get myself some oil. And while I was up north, I figured why not grab some organic polymer while I was there. After that, my biggest need was going to be cementing paste. So I headed off down the river to look for the beaver dams.
And then something very strange happened. Something that I thought I'd never see. After clearing out the beaver dams in the first spot, I moved around the swamp over to Joe's base, the next spot where the beavers would spawn. And I came across this building which had disappeared and all the tames were still sitting as if the building was still there. And they were claimable. It looks like this was one of Joe's bases and he had finally let them go. This is kind of a sad day. <laughs> kind of a mixed blessing. I mean, I'm sad for Joe. Joe was a really nice guy when I first logged on to this server about three years ago and I was just fresh and coming out of the jungle. I ran into Joe and he helped me tame my first Quetzal. And, uh, you know, it was only a couple of hours. That was the only time I saw him in those two years. And since then, he's been accumulating dinos. <laughs> and son of a bitch, if, I, if I, he actually let them go. He has so many dinos and so much stuff that he finally just let it go. And uh, so I'm going to grab some of these things. And uh, you know what? Some, some of these were mine. Actually, I know for a fact that... Uh, that Bronto named Littlefoot, that was mine. I named it, that was my Bronto, I recognize the level. He's kept that thing alive for two years and I have claimed her back. So, uh, you know, everything comes full circle. This is a great day and it's gonna make my adventure that much easier. Oh, I can't wait to see all the great stuff I'm gonna pick up today. So all this happening was a total surprise to me and in no way was my expected sequence of events on this challenge. However, this is part of the PvE multiplay mechanics and um, I'm going to take it on as a natural part of my scenario. It's totally allowed, it's legal, it's above board. You leave your stuff too long, it's going to die or get taken and that's just the way it is. And I've lost a bunch of my dinos that way and that's fine. I, I enjoy building up. Uh, also of note is I've only selected really out of the probably hundreds of dinos out there, I selected just a few key dinos. I picked some Rexes and some Dimorphodons for breeding purposes, uh, Brontos for the eggs. I did grab a Wyvern off a, a distant camp that was also up for grabs, a high-powered electric Wyvern. I couldn't resist. I mean, it's a Wyvern on the island. I, I'm, that's a lot of work. so. I'm going to keep it alive for whoever, and uh, it's important to note that I can't use this super powerful beast in the caves or the boss fights, so it's just kind of a quality of life thing for me moving forward. Um, I also picked a few other fun dimos, uh, but the thing is, I lost a bunch of them moving them back to my base in the redwoods and the surrounding swamp areas. I'm not too stressed out about that. I mean, these things are just going to be little nuggets to stumble across later you know, in my, in my future travels, or some upcoming random death messages. Uh, either way, it's all fun, it's all great, it's Ons versus the Island, and uh, it's been a blast today. I can't wait to take it forward, get all organized, and I uh, hope you guys join me. I am going to clear the caves, I am going to clear the bosses, and we are going to do what we can to get the best gear possible. We're going to get into that tech tier later, so uh, join me on the next one. As always, thanks for coming, I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I know 99% of you won't, but to that one percenter. I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, okay? See ya!